Yo guys, what is up with skills and today's video is going to be about the news that came out for this actual game. Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross of course has the new maintenance and after maintenance everything that will be coming out will be this. So the first thing we're going to talk about is two new characters. So a new king, SSR king and the 10 commandments Meleskila or Meleskila however you want to say her name. These two are finally coming out so finally they're bringing more 10 commandment units. And the main one I'm waiting for personally is Zeldris and Nesterosa. So whenever they come out, I will cover them, of course. But we do have, of course, the birthday for uh, Elizabeth's dad, the king. Uh, he will be having his um, actual event happening after maintenance as well. So the good thing about that is the banner will be coming out the 14th after maintenance all the way until the 28th of November, Thursday before maintenance. It should leave uh, before that, and then maintenance will happen again. But... Three new costumes for Meleskula will be added, so this is, will be the time frames for the uh, costume. You can go ahead and pause the video whenever you, if you guys uh, need to read this if I'm going too fast. But then you also have two new packs added into the shop. Of course, the Meleskula Awakening Pack and the Fat King Awakening Pack. Then if we go down, uh, the Leonis Banquet is the thing that will be going for the event. So King Baltra's birthday. This is where we will be getting... Um, you know daily logins and pretty good logins from this so the event time will be from the 14th to the 28th as well so log in every single day for this you have uh the simple birthday present present from veronica increased chance of great success and super success when leveling up characters that's super good as well you have the picture right there that will be showing us things we can get story event which is going to be for of course this birthday part uh, rewards will be given out for clearing the stages and the events so you will be getting these as well from there um, to participate, tap the event banner at the top left corner, which is right there. Alternately, you can tap on the bolter icon at the event page as well, right there. Then your presents from Veronica. So clearing the stage, we'll have a chance to drop Veronica's, Veronica's present box, which it will be all free stages in all chapters, all dungeons and SP dungeon and boss stages. Uh, will be dropped as additional reward. Opening the present will give you two SSR chests. You can obtain up to five present boxes. The daily limit re resets at you know, zero, so it resets daily. Increased chance of great success and super success when leveling up characters. So it'll give you more boost even if you use um, like the five star ones. So that's good to know because that's going to be very helpful for right now. You have the five new login, in the, which is number five. The new login bonus right here from the 14th to the 27th and then it'll change. So day one we'll be getting this, day two and so on and so on. Day 14 is going to be the SSR pendant. Day seven is SSR pendant. So every seven days you will get an SSR pendant. So that's not bad. That's pretty good for what that is. You get anvils too. So we need anvils for sure. Then we get six stars um, for the chalice, chalice of blood, and an X X EXP potion. Super good in my opinion. That's actually really, really good. So that's good to look at. And then we have the world boss challenge event. So this is basically the bigger thing that we're going to talk about. So while this is going on, we're going to have this new beast Ramek appear. During the, uh, the event, all players will have to work together defeat Ramek and earn world challenge rewards. In addition, uh, the Ramek will drop event items, uh, Ramek's shell shard for exchange and exchange shop score challenge event will also commence. Let's defeat Ramek and earn luxury rewards. So this is going from the 14th to the 28th as well, as well and then same thing for the exchange shop. So that is how he looks. Really, really cool. So this is something we definitely are going to be doing uh, for like a video or anything like that. I have the boy Zectra that will be doing a collab with me for this extreme part. I don't think we can do the last one, but we can participate in it and try it. So we have the top left one and then the world map. So you can see how you get there will be on the top left and then something else on there. So then we have the world challenge rewards, uh, which I don't think it's going to tell us. But the first time clearing world boss will grant the player three SSR pendants which is needed so that's good you can see that right there you'll get three from there and then you have the world boss raid score challenge if you do it all the way I believe you get 10 gems I think that's 10 gems if you do it all the way which is not bad for what that is then if you go down to the exchange shop you can actually exchange exchange these things so Ramek shell shard required you need 20 to get one SSR pendant uh, one daily five max so if you do uh, I guess you can do it five for five of them every day. You can get uh, SSR pendants once every 20 um, actual shards. Not bad. Then you can do the red wings, red horn, rabbit ears, and then the SSR pendants as well. So you just have to keep on grinding out. So this is something you definitely want to do, especially for SSR pendants, because that's the hardest thing to get in the game. And then, of course, for gear, you can do the five 
uh, five star awakening stone which is really good you, you definitely want that anvils are good your chest ssr chest those you don't have to worry about as much try to worry about your awakening stones and anvils and then from here the ssr pendants are the main thing and rabbit ears because those the crimson raid is the hardest thing to get all the time in my opinion then you have the time attack so the time attack event is going to be will commence that will commence there's a three hour limit to attempt the challenge the missions will be available for 14 days so then this will be really good for you as well so try to do this uh, as much as possible then you get players get can get various rewards by clearing the event within the reward pool players will also be able to get a newly added ssr gear selection ticket so right here once you do this you will get ssr pendants and ssr pendants as long as you keep on doing this for the time frame tap the event banner at the top left which will be on the top left there of course like normal and then uh, from the event page click the mission and press start clear the missions within the time limit to get time limit to get the rewards very very good so that's actually super good because you can get uh, an ssr pendant from that uh, then you can get the mission mission rewards from here. So every single day if you do this, you will get the rewards. So clear stage with strength characters only three times. SSR pendant on the first day. You need to follow every single day on here and make sure to do that to get your you know rewards. Because this will be very, very helpful. So we're going to go from the 14th all the way to the 26th. Make sure to do all this all the time because this will give you the best award of rewards that you will ever get ssr gear ticket you have the uh ssr pendants you have the five star awakening stones etc etc this will help us a lot for awakening our units so definitely pause the video right here see what you guys need to do every time you need to do for this uh day daily and then you can see that this is what you will have to do for the rewards so you can go ahead and pause it right here you know see real quick and then get to your grinding all right, so let's go on to the next one. So the 27th is the last one, uh, which you get Ember Key and an SR, SR gear ticket. And then if you go to the new pub decorations, you can go ahead and get these things as well to change up how your, um, you know, Boar's Hat looks, I'm pretty sure. So you get extra, you know, experience from doing this stuff too. So that's good to know because you do want to go ahead and uh, push your Boar's Hat to look really good to get extra bonus for things. Um, so you want to look into this as well so you can pause this and read a little bit for this because it can go into depth with this. But I'm not going to go too much into this, but you can read this by yourself for that. Then we have the characters added into the permanent pool. So we will have... So after the um, after the actual maintenance, this is where Monspi and Meliodas will be added to the permanent pool. So character gotcha will be from the main banner, SSR ticket, SR and SSR ticket, and then the men gotcha. That's so these are the main ones you're gonna be worrying about. So people who use your tickets, you need to save them, uh, or if you haven't used them yet, save them because Mel Meliodas is definitely one of the characters you want. So hopefully you guys can pull him from the character. Uh, actual uh, pull so character gotcha is really good to know too because uh, that's like the one gem summon every time SSR tickets you get that weekly so save that for him and then SR and SSR tickets you get that every week as well I think two a week so do that and you should be good every week then you can pu probably pull from Eliotis or Monspeed and then you have system changes and improvements so of course we talked about this before uh, you have other things that will be changing in the game. So Wandering Show will, will be having eight visits to a town a day, you know, th things like that. Changes to target selection when taunt effect is in play. So this right here will be messing up with D the green DN, but it's not t nothing to worry about too much. Addition of new item SSR gear selection ticket. So this item is obtainable through the time attack event, so you'll be doing that as well. And then opening animation for characters with commandments has changed this is how it will look before it just popped up on the bottom left now it's going to show us that this is a commandment for one of the units so then we have the eye of valor system change so during a battle long tapping a character will now bring up the character's detailed stats at that point in time really really good to know because then if you know what the uh, japanese wordings are you'll know what has crit and stuff like that crit damage etc etc so good to know very cool to have there uh, and then you have the new items added to guild shop level four will be an sr pendant coins required 80 you can purchase one a day so nice to know and then addition of characters to the engraver list elizabeth guild thunder golgius and twigo and then we have added two uh characters in the addition to okay in the dev notes then balancing balancing changes 
couple things you can pause this right here to read this if you guys want to actually know about this um, if you really want to know that pause it from here and then uh, you know unpause it so we can continue that and then extra bug fixes if you guys want to pause the video here again and just read it you guys can so you have a better idea of what's going on for all of these things but that's gonna be basically the last part we have other quick translations of uh, Meluscula and King at rank 3. You guys can pause that here, but I'll probably make a spe separate video on these two units and if they're worth summoning for. Uh, but if you want to read this real quick, you guys can. Uh, but that's going to be it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, you guys want to see more 7 Daily Sins, go ahead and drop a like, subscribe if you guys are very new, and then comment down below if you guys are excited for these two new units that are coming out and for all of the things that we will be grinding for this time frame because there's a lot to do for this. So if you guys want to see me stream this or anything like that, I probably will. Uh, if you guys want to watch that, go ahead and follow me at DBZ Skills on Twitch.tv. Twitch.tv slash DBZ Skills, and I'll probably be streaming this, to be honest, because uh, I kind of want to see how much we can do for this game. But that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you guys next time.